Hey, hello from Walla Walla. Hey, I'm out in the garage here. And uh, way back, I did a video where I used all my strength and I pushed on the chuck on that old Axelson way they had out in the driveway. I had a dial indicator on it and I was able to deflect it a thousandths or something like that. And I shouldn't have been able to do that because uh, Axelson lathes are heavy duty and they have two pairs of uh, Timken spindle bearings and I shouldn't have been able to do it to deflect that with my hand so uh, and also I turned this piece of metal did a couple test cuts on it and uh, the last uh, cut I did with with the insert tool I did kind of a finish cut and it, it's not too bad it looks okay and uh, but with that deflection caused a problem with accuracy of rotation. And let's check that out. Uh, this is a good uh, uh, example to show what happens if the spindle is a little bit out of uh, uh, adjustment. So I'll get you set up and we'll, we'll have a look. I hope you're all doing good. It is kind of getting cold. Right here is that piece, and I got on this uh, camera boom thing here, and it's uh, going to be hard to see this. Now, what I'm going to use, I've got this uh, piece of metal here, um, index marks on it, and I'm going to check it right here, and I hope you can see the scale on the micrometer. Now this is a V anvil micrometer and it, it like automatically centers. So it makes checking things like this quite a bit easier. It's uh, a bit like having uh, the work on a V block uh, on a surface plate, sort of, except for you got the uh, uh, micrometer to deal with. Okay, so this is reading 2.511, okay? Two and a half and eleven thousandths, right on the mark. Now I'm going to take and uh, just index it over here, and I'm going to check it again. These things are a little bit touchy, and all micrometers are. That's a little wiggle it in. And I'm getting just about three ten thousandths. It has a vernier scale. I can't see it, so I'm guesstimating. Two and a half to three ten thousandths uh, above, above the uh, 2.511 at that point. So I'll move it here. Third spot. And just kind of wiggle that thing in a little bit. Yeah, see, it's getting a little less. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe I can move you a little closer. I don't know. We'll try it. Yeah, it's just about a tenth or two. So the high spot starts fading out. Let me see. I gotta look around you. And it's hard <laughs> to read a micrometer uh, with a camera in front of you. Okay, that, yeah, it's still a tenth or two high there from this lower spot here. What do we got? That's a little high there. Yeah, that's, see, it's starting to really fade out. So it goes to about two, three, ten thousandths uh, out around. And uh, 
That's not acceptable for a precision bearing mounting. So the uh, spindle bearings need to be adjusted on that, on that old lathe. And that's to be expected, it's uh, 80 years old. And uh, now, I put a dial indicator on the spindle nose, and it didn't show any kind of problem of run out, just, you know, rotating it uh, by hand, maybe half a tenth or something. I, I suspected that the bearings were a little bit loose, but they're not so loose that it caused chatter. You know, you see the, that the machine was cutting. But, you know, I wanted to point that out that, uh, you know, uh, unless you check, you wouldn't know. <laughs> and sometimes you wonder why things don't fit as good as they should. And this could be a problem, you know, if you uh, have uh, loose spindle bearings. Now, that shaft, which I'm, I'm going to do right up, the, the little um, line boring shafts that are out around and out of true, that was probably a different problem that spindle bearings did. I think that was uh, probably, you know, from the tailstock and um, being loose or something, calling that out of roundness. Now, most, uh, the only uh, makers that I know that uh, listed accuracy of rotation of their machines was uh, Hardinch and uh, Monarch. And uh, on Monarch, it's uh, um, between 50 and uh, um, 12 millionths. And uh, on uh, Hardinch, they already, years ago, they guaranteed uh, 25 millionths uh, run out and also 25 millionths accuracy of uh, rotation. Then they changed it to 50 thousandths uh, nose run out but that, <laughs> that's not that big of a deal so anyway i thought i'd point some of that out and uh, these v anvil micrometers are pretty hand handy for some other things so um i you can uh check uh the roundness of balls and uh, sometimes ball bearings like this, the three quarter inch ball bearing, aren't as round as you think they should be. And um, if you're using loose balls, you, know, you should check them on a surface plate or uh, at least with something like this, you know, in a V block in a surface plate. <laughs> Lots of fun here. So. That's the use of these um, um, V anvil micrometers is uh, to check roundness of stuff, and it makes it kind of easy. So anyway, that um, that old accent's going to need a uh, spindle adjustment. <laughs> so um, I I thought I'd point this out, and um, I've got to get moving on this other stuff, and I'll. Turn the camera on again. Okay. DD out.